right, moving fast here. Just saw a really cool car. Not sure what it was, but it was parked inside this uh, bar slash restaurant's parking lot with a bunch of guys out there looking at it. So, of course, I'm like, okay, turn around the car. Let's go back, check it out, see what it is. Hopefully, the guy that owns it sitting out there will uh, let me get some film of it and uh, put it up on the channel. So, anyways, we're starting this video right now. All right, everybody. So, I just got done talking briefly with the owner of this car here. This is a Rossiom. And uh, yeah, it's something new I haven't seen before. And uh, it's made in America, twin turbo, super sporty. Uh, the guy that owns it, he's, uh, he said, hey, let me walk inside, grab a beer, and I'll come right back out and chat with you about the car on camera. So that's what we're gonna do. Before he comes out though, let's, uh, let's take some film of it and see what it's all about. So looking really aggressive, really sporty. Pretty cool car. Some of y'all may not have ever seen one of these before. I haven't. According to the owner, uh, this is the only one in the state of South Carolina. So that's pretty cool information. Twin turbo. You know, to me, it looks like it's probably a mid-engine vehicle. Not sure, though. We'll know more in just a second. That's the logo right there. Get a little close up. Beautiful car, though. I mean, we all love sports cars. This is definitely it. Got your forge lime wheels on here. Looking sporty. Wow. Again, I do not know a whole lot of information about this vehicle, but when I was riding by, heading home, I was like, my goodness, there is something cool, well worth turning around and coming and check out. So let me know in the comments what y'all know about this car, if you've ever driven one, if you've ever seen one before, and, and what do you think? Again, American made. One thing that's really cool, I love how the uh, the rear spoiler on the back, that duck bill kind of look to it, is just molded into the car, which looks really nice. Of course, I was right, yeah, it is a mid-engine vehicle, or rear engine, however you want to call that. Um, he said it was twin turbo. I only got a second to chat with him before he walked back inside. But let's let him have a beer and uh, come back out and have some fun with us. Man, what a beautiful car. Exhaust in the back's looking good. Now, it would be only cool if I said, hey, before you have that beer, how about you take me out for a test drive? <laughs> Maybe that'll happen. I don't know. The wheels look good in the back. So you got a, a 275, 35 series tire with an 18-inch wheel. Those are Toyo proxies. Of course, nice sticky tire. Not a lot of tread going on on there. Let's see what the uh, interior kind of looks like. And uh, when he comes back out, we'll get him to open up the door and check it out. Looking pretty sweet though. Again, the only one in the state of South Carolina. Let's get a look of the, uh, let's take the camera and just kind of go across the top with this bad boy. So, you know, in 2017, definitely wanted to get some cooler cars on camera, and we're definitely doing that today. So uh, from briefly just now talking with the owner of this beautiful car, um, you know, this is kind of a rare vehicle. They don't, uh, they don't technically make it anymore, the company. They're based out of South Florida that builds this. And uh, yeah, so, uh, but what he was saying was that he's heard online that possibly in the near future, uh, for 2018, they're gonna start building them again and making them and selling them to people. Um, when this car was brand new, it was around $100,000, somewhere right around there. Um, it's V6, twin turbo, mid-engine, and uh, what else can we think about? Uh, you know, I can definitely go on Wikipedia and pull up some information about it, but really cool vehicle for sure. Let's take a look at the interior. He's got it unlocked for me so we can uh, check it out. I mean, he literally just got this vehicle. 
I don't know if he bought it this week or whenever, but just just took delivery of this car. And uh, so your door opens up just like your traditional door, which is fine. Um, it's definitely a track ready vehicle. That's for sure. I mean, you got racing seats on the inside. Those are real deal racing seats. I mean, as you can see, the backing on the seats are carbon fiber. Let's see if we can zoom in on there a little bit. There you go, there's that carbon fiber. There, uh, there won't be any uh, reclining or laying back like a thug riding down the road in this car. This is ready to get out on the track. Um, you also see, you know, it's pretty much, it's got a roll cage in it, okay? The roll cage, which is nice, is covered in uh, Alcantara leather or suede, whatever that, <laughs> whatever that is, I should know, right, guys? But um, it does have your roll cage in there. There's your tachometer, your speedometer. Let's see what it tacks out at on there. Uh, 200 mile per hour, of course, yeah. And uh, red lines out, if we can see that. Red lines out, it's uh, just a little bit under 7,000. Pretty cool. Um, he did say he upgraded the, uh, the boost controller in the vehicle. So you can you know, have more boost, more pounds or whatnot. Uh, it's got a Polk audio system in it. But pretty cool car, right? Yeah, that's neat. Um, the top does not come off on the car. This is, again, a track-ready vehicle. Um, most of it is fiberglass and Kevlar, all that. And, again, it was built in South Florida. And, it's you know, it's nice to see an American-made vehicle like this. You know, when you kind of look at it, you're like, okay, is that, a, is that Italian? You know, what is that, right? It's American, folks, and that's what's kind of cool about it. I love the color, that gunmetal. Looking really sporty with the racing stripes going down over the side. I like how the racing stripes are kind of off to the right hand side, to the driver's side of the vehicle, and not going straight over. I know, you know, back in the day when I was in the car clubs and all that, I used to do racing stripes on cars, and that's kind of how I did them. We'd do them right there on, the, uh, on that side, like that kind of angled. Anyways, looking great. Thanks for letting us look at your car, sir. We do appreciate it right here on Charleston Car Videos. And uh, before we go, let's zoom in and take a look at those cool looking headlights. Again, we just don't get to see these all that often. The other guy that's sitting up there with him, maybe a buddy of his, was saying, I said, he said, man, I wish I had my car sitting right here. And I'm like, hmm, what is his car that he'd like to have sitting right here? He said, well, I got a cherry red Dodge Viper. And he, I said, well, where's it at? He said, well, it got in an accident. He said, a boat hit me. A guy was driving his truck with a boat on the back. I guess was coming around a corner or something like that and literally hit the side of his Dodge Viper. Man, that's got to be sad. Because, you know, the neighbor a, a few houses down from me on the next street over, uh, he also owns a Dodge Viper and a Porsche. You know, these guys that drive these types of vehicles just love them. And, uh, I mean, I hate to hear when something like that happens, especially when a, a boat hits your car, right? So, anyways, I'm sure you'll get it fixed. And uh, maybe y'all will see this car out there at the Cars and Coffee in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina in the near future. But there it is. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day. As always, subscribe to the YouTube channel and, uh, and let me know what you think of this really cool car. We'll see you soon. All right, so that was pretty cool. That's, you know, that's, that's the randomness of uh, this channel sometimes. You know, some days, like earlier today, I'll be out on the car lots all day filming used cars and walk-arounds and all that. And then, hey, you know, you thought today, you're like, man, it just wasn't a great day. I didn't get to film anything cool. And heck, if you're driving home and that catches your eye while you're on the way home. So, of course, you know, like a good car video guy, I thought about it. I said, all right, you got to whip the car around, go in there and talk to the fella. That's just all you got to do. And even while I was out there filming, one other car pulled in with a young kid in it. And he was like, man, I got to check this out. And he even pulled up and kind of took a look at it. So anyways, that's the kind of stuff you get sometimes on Charleston car videos is the uh, the randomness of cool supercars like that. So thanks for watching again. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Really do appreciate it. And as always, if y'all have any requests on a vehicle you'd like to see filmed, send the request in in the comments section down below and I'll do my best to find it and film it. Um, again, I live in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, there is some unique vehicles here in the Charleston area, but they are there. We don't have a whole lot of car dealerships that sell super highline vehicles. So that's why you don't see a lot of that kind of stuff on my channel because I only have access to so much. But you know, hey, it may be where I just got to get out there to the cars and coffees and things like that and start filming these vehicles a little bit more. So appreciate your time. Hold it down. Subscribe. We'll see you soon.